which camera am I looking at? Если дьявол носит Прада, Бог носит Джордан, моя туса в ней номинации рекордов. Завтра, как и сегодня, все будет бодро. Мы не задаем моду, знаешь, мы есть мода. Hi everyone, this is Alex. Hey guys, we didn't forget about our first contest that we made in the first video in February. We still didn't announce the winner of this contest, but we will make it this in October, when the Matthew coming back from his national team from the World Championship. But please guys, watch this video till the end, because we have another huge presence from Matthew Anderson. And I know you will like it. Oh, well, my favorite shoe of all time. They want it. It's probably the, yeah, it's really hard to find now. Um, and if you find it, it's a, it's a retro shoe and it's really expensive. I go to Nike because like I, I've been playing in Nike since I was 14 years old. Cause I'm a Nike guy. They will always have a model that's more or less gonna work for me. Yeah, this is, this is my shoe of choice now. It's the Nike Hyperdunk, but it's got the fly knit on it. So it's a little bit tighter on the upper part. The sole is the Lunar Lun technology. For me, high tops when I'm playing volleyball are more important for a little bit more ankle support. I know for sure that Nike does offer their basketball shoes a specification of the type of floor you're going to be playing on. So they have a Nike Hyperdunk that is designed for concrete or blacktop. These contact points on the bottom, these are where you're, sh you're going to put most of the pressure of your foot. I think this is the Kyrie. I think his, the model before, he had a big round part in the middle here because he was always up on top of his toes and wanted to be able to be able to move fast and have a quick contact with the floor and keep traction. Maybe he was wearing the, shoot, what was he wearing? Those Kobe, the Kobe 10s or Kobe 9s. You can pick any shoe on this floor here and somebody's hurt their ankle, somebody's hurt their knee easily. Hyper dunks now. The fly nets are $180. Hyperdunk is their basic basketball model. High quantities and therefore the price is a little bit less than most. I think this is like $160. The most I've ever paid for a pair of shoes to play in, $200, $210 if I was doing like a, a Kobe Nike ID. Your money too short, you can't be talking to me. My brand of choice. Yeah, I'm talking, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking re. He's only Adidas. For example, this pair, they have boost, only Adidas has boost. Like no Nike, no other brand. It's a bit heavier than most of the other cushioning we see here. I would only wear this shoe in the morning because it's heavy, but it's very comfortable because this boost is always soft. My shoe of choice to play in and to train, it's Adidas Damien Lillard for I like pretty much everything about this shoe, so I like the cushioning. I like the traction and I like the weight because it's really light. In the mornings I use this shoe, the same as Eager, the Damien Lillard Dame 4. It's a comfortable shoe, so the bottom part is really similar to the Nike shoe that I use. This just doesn't support my ankle as enough as enough that I need. Uh, both really good shoes, both really tight on the top of the foot, which I like. This has a gum bottom, translates to almost every type of flooring. It works really good on Terraflex and most of the, the bottoms here you'll find all work really well on Terraflex because you know that's the sport we play. This summer our national team switched to Adidas. With crazy explosive fly Crazy nets. explosive fly nets which was a great shoe and it worked really well for me but in the end when I was choosing what shoe I wanted to play with on my own I went back to Nike. Is that they bend here you know this part because if they're really hard then everything about them becomes hard. The jumping, you know, sprinting. I don't need as much support as he needs, but I like my shoe to be like a sock and I don't have to do my shoelaces. I think they cost like, what, $120, yeah, 115 So they're not very expensive, like the Nikes usually, because they use like a higher quality material. So it's a bit more expensive. Break records to Louis, ate breakfast to Gucci. Everyone is totally different because some guys can use Volvic. Use your ass. No. Yeah. No. There's nothing good about Volvic yeah. shoes. <laughs> he, he's just straight functionality of the shoe. So does it work for him? Yes. He likes his shoe really, really tight. And he's got a big foot, so you're limited in your options. He found a shoe that works for him and fair above uses this shoe and I'm pretty sure Eager doesn't like it. I don't like it. It's just, it's too hard and it's not 
it doesn't conform to our foot as much as we like because he's a ground based position so he's moving side to side he needs that rigidity that strength in the shoe to help him move for example Mizuno and Asics they stayed like years behind in in improvement Adidas you take Nike Under Armour every year they try to improve on everything this one here you know the one they use maybe five six years and also same with Asics like they've been using gel for some guys it's working you know for, for some guys it's good we were sponsored by Mizuno you know, for many years on Team USA and they always pitched us that they'll, you'll never find a shoe with more technology in it than a Mizuno shoe. My rebuttal was, that's great, but it's not comfortable. You know, you can put as much technology and style and all these crazy things into a shoe, but if it doesn't perform the way that the athletes need it to, they're always going to go to a different shoe. I think that's something that Adidas and Nike, taking the input from the customers, and the athletes themselves. On our arrival, the un -American idols. Under Armour in the past, the old Steph Curry's I've used. This is the new model, this black one here, but it's not as comfortable as the one they had before. This is the newest model of Steph Curry. Um, Leo, if you grab Sam's, the first model, yep, I played last year, yeah. Yeah, it's a newer company. It's been around for a while, but it, and they're putting a lot of money into the company, into their products. You know, they have some big athletes. Steph Curry, one of the best basketball players. They also have Michael Phelps. They have good technology. I mean, this shoe was, was good for me. I wore it in the Rio Olympics. I wore it here last season. Gave me the right support, and it was a high top that was able to get really tight on my foot. So I enjoyed it. Now I choose to hyper dunk over it because this is a couple of years old now and it's hard to find. I've never used Under Armour. I never tried, but all the things I've read, it's just not for me. I think it's a good looking shoe, but it's not, um, it's not my choice. Some volleyball players use them. Um, Sonia Gutzeluk. I've tried a couple of them, but the, just the way it, it's built for a bigger yeah. guy in my, my opinion. Although I'm over two meters tall, I'm not 110 kilos. Like Eager, I like a lighter shoe, something that's a little bit more like a sock, but I like mine really tight. Because Jordans usually, if you put them on, they feel bulky, you know, like really big. And I don't like this feeling, so I try to stay away. Big ball of brown. Yeah. I don't know, man. Though that First of all, I think they're ugly. <laughs> I think there's like nothing new technology. They're way too expensive. Whether they charge four or five hundred dollars for one pair of shoe, want to buy their kids a five hundred dollar pair of shoes? It's kind of ridiculous to me. In volleyball, you don't use like custom made. You know, like they use in NBA or football, where you can put a picture and the Nike ID part where you can put on your own design. I'm going through a pair of shoes every month. A shoe can break in two weeks. It can last six weeks. You never know, really. It's just when, when the shoe breaks, it breaks. Yeah, I don't really care about that. As long as they're white, I'm happy. Don't worry, we will make our new factory. Volleyball shoes. Leon volleyball oh, shoes, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> In America, the basketball players, football players that have the special shoes, Irving and LeBron James. Yeah, I'm talking LeBron, we ball in our family. They're already sponsored by those companies and they have their signature shoes. Well, now in America, it's Black History Month, so you're seeing a lot of companies release special shoes. They do it for breast cancer awareness in the NFL and the in MLB. Pass the refreshments, a cool, cool beverage. When Yeezy release, I got the first pair of Yeezys for free. Like the very, very first one, the Turtle Doves or whatever. But the second model, I think, is way too expensive. 1,000, 1,500. Easily $1,000 to some you'll even find go up to $3,000. It's the same that happens with the Pharrell Adidas shoes that he, uh, that one pair of burgundy ones, there's like yeah. $10,000 now, which is ridiculous. Nobody should ever spend that much money on a pair of shoes. Me and Igor love shoes and not only just our court shoes, but shoes off the court that we collect. I mean, I have my own sneaker room in my, my house. At least a hundred pairs of shoes in the boxes still, yeah. It's an ever-growing collection. So my collection is not as big as his, as because I have family, yeah, so I need to spend money the other ways. I like both athletic shoes and uh, like dress shoes. And I have a couple pairs of handmade leather shoes from Italy that are 
like a thousand two hundred euros like but it's handmade perfectly to my foot so that's the most expensive like shoe i've bought the highest paid i have a sneaker it's not a sport shoe it's called golden goose it's a handmade shoe 400 euro 450 euro because i don't wear uh, dress shoes like for example matt has <laughs> oh, i love uggs <laughs> i love uggs <laughs> so comfortable i use them every day almost yeah those what those are like 200 they're expensive yeah, yeah. Number three would definitely be this model. Damien Lillard, Dame 4. This one has the prime knit up top, so it can be a little bit tighter than the, the other models. Number two, my Nike Hyper Dunks. Yeah, just like I said, it's got everything I need. The comfort, a shoe that doesn't break down in two weeks, you know, three weeks. Yeah, my number one is definitely the... Yeah, for sure, but just can't find them anymore. Number three is this. I don't know, I didn't really like this um, cushioning. But they're a good looking shoe and they're very, very comfortable. Number two, Harden's. James Harden Volume 1. This is his first signature shoe that James Harden, the basketball player. This is the pair I used all the way last season. The top uh, shoes that I wore is. Uh, we don't have him here, it's, it's a new brand from America, created by one of the basketball um, NBA guys. And I'm waiting for Matt to bring me a pair. <laughs> it will be harder, but the prizes became better. First of all, this is the shoes of Matthew Anderson with his sign from the finals of Russian Super League. And of course, his playing jersey also from the Russian Super League final. If you want to win these prizes, you must subscribe to all social networks of Zenit Kazan in Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And you must answer a very hard question. What is the most favorite brand and model of playing shoes of Matthew Anderson? And what is the most favorite brand of playing shoes of Igor Yudin? It will be hard, but the prizes So guys, uh, thanks for watching our video. We hope that uh, we helped you. Good luck and lots of success. Bye. So guys, this is will be hard contest, but the prizes are so good. This jersey can be yours in October when the Matthew coming back from the national team. So you must subscribe to all our social networks and of course give the correct answer to other questions. So the new season is already here. Stay in touch with us in all our social networks and of course watch ZTV. If you like what you see, subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment below. Thank you.